All right, so we're gonna do cows. That's Snickers is a short horn. This is hashtag. Hashtag is the friendliest one out of all of them. Will come right up to me. Literally the other day, uh, she almost knocked me over because she came up and bumped into me from behind wanting some cake. And uh, Snickers is the second most friendly one. Really, Ocho? You got to do that? That's Ocho, uh, mostly because there's an eight on the tag and didn't really have any other names. This one, number five, is Diesel. Uh, black white face is Patch. She's pretty calm, um, but uh, she she won't really come up and let me pet her, but she'll get close. And then this one, I call Old Yeller or Yellow 50 because it's got the only one with the yellow ear tag. And it's a little bit apprehensive around people. Probably never um, was socialized when it was young. So these are all really tame. Um, and that's because the place I get them, uh, the farmer is out there all the time with the cows and handling them and they get really used to people uh, and that's what I like. I've had a crazy cow story for another time but uh, anyway uh, let's see so how I have this set up uh, there's a gate here where I took this used to be all a feeder in this old place and I got a section of lockable stalls in case I need to do something with them I can lock them in I can turn the headlocks and, and lock them in. Um, this gate, I essentially cut this curb out so I could get my tractor in here. So when I need to get my tractor in, I swing this gate over and that way it keeps the cows out of here. Um, and then if I need to, I can sweep the pigs in. If you wanna see that, that's a separate video, but essentially that gate swings over against there and that locks the pigs in there and then I can get in here because uh, in the winter time, and I just put this gravel in here. In the winter time, this is where I store the round bales. And then I can get my tractor in here, open that gate. I drive my tractor in here and I stack my round bales there and then I can feed hay. So uh, I always keep a lick tub in here. Um, that's a 28% protein lick tub with a lick inhibitor so they don't just go to town on it. Uh, but they'll chew through that and probably a month while well, they're on grass so it might last a little bit longer uh, and then just a grain tub so this is made for dairy cows and they are quite a bit bigger and they have a bit more reach so what I found is especially with these uh, they've grown a little bit but when I first get them they're a little small and they can't actually get their heads all the way down to the bottom there um, and I grain train them so that way they come to me when I have grain um, and so right now there's a little bit of cake in there and then that's where I feed the hay. Normally I'm trying only to carry about four over the winter uh, because you start trying to feed a bunch of animals and uh, you know, you'll go through like a round bale a week. So that's how I have the inside of the barn set up. Um, eventually what I wanna do is get like maybe another one of these. So that way I have enough to run all of them uh, feeders for grain uh, and then I can just run hay over that way so let's see here I'll show you run out here and I'll show you my corral Snickers what are you doing in there like you're gonna get stuck that's not a stall that's where I had to put the gate divider that's, you're gonna get stuck in there yeah then you're gonna back up and bend my gate because you guys are just big dumb animals aren't you all right they uh, they really have the squirts bad. I just turned them on pasture about three weeks ago and the protein in the grass is really high. And so they, uh, yeah, they're just, it's like, geez, good grief. Um, so this is my corral. Uh, I had problems last year with a crazy cow and it would run through my damn fences. And so that one um, got butchered real quick. It was a uh, pretty light on the hanging weight, but I needed to be rid of it. And I put these corrals in, so those posts are all cemented in. And then I did the hog wire with a top, middle, and bottom um, two by six. I got another hinge here for a gate, so that way I can I can gate this, I can gate that, I can gate that, so I can start separating cows out if I need to, sorting them. 
There's the water trough. I got water. Uh, water line runs back up into the barn. You can see it there. Um, just a little, little look at uh, how I got things set up in there. It's kind of a little party barn. We throw a little get-togethers in here and stuff like that. Oh man, I just stepped in cow shit. All right. um, so coming out here uh, in the winter time, basically I just uh, take this gate here, swing it over, uh, and then the cows they basically get this this corral here, which is it's about 20 feet by uh, 40 feet, and that's enough for them. I used to have just uh so this is all high tensile four strand hot it's all hot and i had them out here and then uh, i had a crazy one and it it ran through those things and uh so i wanted something hard especially in the winter time um just to keep them from running out there uh let's see so over here That gate is, uh, yeah, let's see, there we go. It's on a hinge in the middle, and that gate just swings back and forth, and so I have two fields. Um, I just clipped this one today and pulled them off of that field. Um, but that, uh, they graze down, and I don't want to overgraze it, so I just rotate them back and forth between my two fields. They're almost the same size. Um, this is my north field, and that's a little bit smaller. Uh, it's about an acre and a half and then the other one's about two. So anyway, when it comes time to uh, look out Snickers, when it comes time to uh, butcher, we usually do that right out front here. There's Jack's. Hey, hey hashtag. I don't want to get kicked, but uh, hi. Yeah, I need to squeeze by. Then, uh, essentially what I do is I have this pen in here. This is where the dogs live, or their dog kennel, whatever. They take the shit out of it, but whatever. So I have the panels there. I move these panels out. I make a fence along here, and then I herd them into here. And uh, this is like the uh, kill room, so to speak. And then I can roll these doors shut and come in and put them down right in here. The other cows don't see it, they don't freak out as much. So that's how I have that set up. Uh, shoot me a comment if you wanna see more details on that and why I did things.